And bring in KCCI's Tommy Clark. And she's live at the State House this morning. Tommy, the investigation into Iowa's mass mandate ban could be fast tracked. That's right. I spoke with a local law expert and she believes that mainly for two reasons. She says, first of all, this involves multiple states, so she believes this could become a high priority. I was just one of five states in this federal investigation. Secondly, with Governor Reynolds mask mandate ban, she says there's a real concern for students health. So this investigation is going to determine whether students with health conditions are being discriminated against by this Iowa law. Denise Hill teaches and practices health care law policy and ethics. She says the government is making sure all Iowa students who are too young for the vaccine can integrate with other students at school, adding that there are four laws that come into play here. This investigation will sort out if I was breaking those laws with the mask mandate ban. My expectation is that based on uh, the case law, the uh, precedent from agencies and so forth, um, it very well could come out in the investigation that there is a disruption in the law. So I asked Hill what happens, you know, if that is the case. She says that Iowa could face some penalties. They include possibly losing some sizable grants from the federal government, as well as opening the state, opening itself up to some possible litigation as well as fines. Meantime, Governor Reynolds says that she does prioritize individual choice over mandates. We'll keep you updated. But for now, live at the State House, I'm Tommy Clark, KCCI News, Iowa's News Leader.